Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, a Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defence of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness at Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. During the meeting, His Royal Highness highlighted the depth of long-standing relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, which continued to receive the committed support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and a custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness noted the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's strategic role in furthering regional development and strengthening the global economy. His Royal Highness added that the ambitious environmental goals and new avenues of cooperation that have resulted from the fifth edition of the Future Investment Initiative, the FII, and the Middle East Green Initiative Summit are testament to the success of both events. The importance of creating a unified and coordinated response to preserve the natural environment and address the challenges of climate emergency while ensuring sustainable economic recovery was discussed. The topics of both the FII and the Middle East Green Initiative Summit were also reviewed. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad commended the initiatives launched by His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman at the Middle East Green Initiative and noted that they will contribute towards achieving climate security and a sustainable future. His Royal Highness noted the FII will expand investment cooperation and stress Bahrain's commitment to developing the fruitful partnership that exists between the kingdoms. His Royal Highness concluded by commending Saudi Arabia's role as a leader of the Arab world and its contribution to upholding regional and global stability. For his part, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman praised His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad's continued support of long-standing Bahraini-Saudi relations, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The meeting was also attended by the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Private Secretary to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, participated in the fifth edition of the Future Investment Initiative, the FII held under the patronage of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, which is thanks to the committed support of His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness reiterated Bahrain's commitment to developing its cooperative partnership with Saudi Arabia. He elaborated that Saudi Arabia's role in leading economic initiatives through such platforms as the FII has accelerated the pace of regional development and was vital in securing financial stability. His Royal Highness expressed his pride in participating in the FII alongside the Kingdom's partners and concluded by wishing the Forum success in the future. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa departed from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia following his participation on behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in the fifth edition of the Future Investment Initiative, the FII, held under the patronage of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness also participated in the Middle East Green Initiative Summit at the invitation of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defence of Saudi Arabia, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. 
His Royal Highness was bid farewell by the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Adel bin Ahmed Al Jabir, and several other officials. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of gratitude to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in which he expressed his thanks and appreciation towards the warm welcome received during his visit. He expressed the Kingdom's pride in the long-standing relations with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and congratulations on the success of both the fifth edition of the Future Investment Initiative and the Middle East Green Initiative Summit, which have so cased development priorities for investors and have paved the way for a more sustainable future. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defence of Saudi Arabia, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. In the cable, His Royal Highness expressed his thanks and appreciation towards the warm welcome received during his visit and for the invitation extended to attend and participate in the Middle East Green Initiative Summit. He further expressed his pride in participating in the fifth edition of the Future Investment Initiative. His Royal Highness extended his congratulations on the success of both international events, adding that Saudi Arabia's achievements are everyone's achievement and a source of lasting pride for the region. His Royal Highness concluded by wishing His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman unwavering success and for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for their development and prosperity. Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Supreme Committee for ICT, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa patronised the E-Government Excellence Award 2021 in the presence of a number of ministers and senior officials. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed emphasised that the award is one of the most important national initiatives stemming from the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to adopt and invest in advanced technologies across various fields and to accelerate the pace of the government's digital transformation. His Highness added that this vision has resulted in a strong information and communication technology sector with an advanced global positioning based on solid foundations and technical infrastructure that can keep pace with global developments and accommodate national initiatives such as these awards. He said that the E-Government Excellence Award is a national treasure given the interest and participation it enjoys from participating groups and institutions, which led to its continued success. He expressed his appreciation to the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, for his supervision of the work carried out by the IGA. His Highness added that although the 11th edition of the award came under exceptionally difficult circumstances imposed by the COVID-19 pandemic, the award helped enhance the spirit of challenge and determination among public and private entities, encouraging their quest for excellence. This has pushed them to further invest in ICT and develop their systems and provided Bahraini entities participating in the award an incentive to heighten their levels of creativity and initiative. He expressed his hope that both public and private entities, as well as individuals, will continue their high level of participation in the award in coming years as they are considered partners in Bahrain's development process. The CEO of IGA, Mohammed Al Khaid, expressed deep thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak for patronising the event and congratulated the winners. Al Khaid gave a presentation on digital transformation and global trends, which the award has tracked over the years.
Created in 2008 under the patronage of Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, the e-government excellence award brings together a range of national projects and initiatives to embrace ICT excellence in diverse areas through participations from the public and private sectors as well as submissions by NGOs and citizens furthering digital transformation to achieve the objectives of Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. This award contributed and to the advancement of the ICT uh, sector in Bahrain. Uh, the standards and uh, that the, the award uh, put forward made all the uh, government entities and the private sector uh, to look for the excellence, to give uh, quality products, uh, which uh, made all the uh, projects and initiatives, uh, technical initiatives in Bahrain, uh, be at par with the international standard, uh, achieving uh, a lot of uh, recognition and uh, regional and international awards. ICT innovations and applications have become major drivers of enhanced organizational performance, economic growth and social change. Bahrain is heading toward the excellence in providing government services. Despite the pandemic that we all world are experiencing of Bahrain is forwarding to provide high quality and excellent services as by the direction of uh, the government. And this will leave uh, the comfort uh, to provide more uh, distinguished product and services to make government more, let's say, efficient and effective in the quality of government services. The e-Government Excellence Award aims to encourage and highlight these achievements and promote originality in the digital world. We reviewed uh, over 100 uh, uh, submissions for awards. We had uh, almost uh, 20 different categories that we used to classify. Uh, and all the submissions were made using several elements. One was the text element where every answer was provided with the most amount of detail possible and also the uh, submissions could include things like presentations as well as diagrams as well as even screenshots from the websites so that the evaluation could have an idea of how the solution could be helpful. The award was created in cooperation with independent industry specialists and experts from across the globe with the vision of setting a benchmark for the region's ICT development and encouraging new approaches to enrich and enhance technological advancements in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The e-Government Excellence Award is a strategic platform launched by the Information and e-Government Authority to recognize and reward Bahrain's pioneering ICT initiatives. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef. Bahrain Defence Force, the BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received the Foreign Affairs, Defence and National Security Committee Chairman of the Council of Representatives, Chairman Mohammed Ibrahim Al-Sisi al, -Sisi al and members. The meeting discussed cooperation between the BDF and the Council of Representatives. The Commander-in-Chief appraised the efforts of the lawmakers to serve Bahrain and its citizens. The Ministry of Health won the e-Government Excellence Award 2021 for the Best Website category. The award was received by the Minister of Health, Fayekh bin Saeed Al Saleh, where she expressed a great pride in this outstanding achievement. She emphasised that this achievement is thanks to the visions, sound directions and limited support of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Minister praised the efforts made by the concerned authorities in the Ministry of Health which resulted in a ministry winning the high-level award in the Kingdom of Bahrain to be added to the series of achievements of the electronic system in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Al-Saleh expressed a pride in the health cadres, indicating that the concerted national efforts achieved the best indicators and standards in the field of electronic health services to be a source of pride for those concerned with the health field. Dirasat's chairman of the Board of Trustees, Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industries chairman, Samir Nas, signed a memorandum of understanding in the field of research and studies on the local level to enhance the scientific research and innovation efforts. 
Sheikh Abdullah affirmed that this signing is a step to develop the various sectors of the kingdom, which goes in line with the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030 and reflects the kingdom's keenness to build a better life for its people. He praised the role of the BCCI and Derasat and their efforts in elevating the status of the kingdom. Nas affirmed that this agreement will further enhance the cooperation with Derasat and will also lead to benefit Bahrain and its people. The Higher Education Council Secretary General and Board of Trustees Deputy Chairman Dr. Sheikh Rana bint Isa Al Khalifa met with Assistant President of Sultan Qaboos for International Cooperation University, Dr. Muna bint Fahad Al Said. Dr. Muna expressed pride in the bilateral ties in the field of education in a service of mutual aspirations. For her part, Dr. Sheikh Rana thanked her guest and praised the bilateral ties. She affirmed her keenness on further developing cooperation in the field, after which she toured the premises of the university. Under the patronage of the President of the Supreme Council for Health, Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, a lecture on breast cancer was launched, as organised by the Directorate of First Aid Centres at the Ministry of Health. The lecture was given by the President of the Bahrain Society to Combat Cancer, Dr Abdurrahman Fakro with the attendance of the head of King Hamid Hospital, Major General Sheikh Salman bin Al Taihala, and the CEO of the Directorate, Dr Jalila Saeed Jawad. The lecture discussed the various methods of discovering breast cancer in its early stages and conducting routine tests. It was held as part of the Health Ministry's efforts to carry out the government's directives to prevent diseases in the Kingdom through preventative measures. Alba continues as one of the leading companies in the field of sustainable development as it launches its second campaign to raise awareness of the environment and good governance. The campaign focuses on integrating the objectives of Vision 2030 with those of the UN into the company's five-year plan. This comes at the back of its first campaign, which focused on various matters in the fields of the environment, society and good governance. The Acting General Director of the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority, the TRA, Sheikh Nasib bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, affirmed that the telecommunications field in the Kingdom is experiencing marked development in the number of subscriptions, as well as the coverage area. He said that this is the result of competition, which has reduced prices. He added that this helped the Kingdom attain high rankings in international reports, thanks to the government programme and Vision 2030. He affirmed the importance of enhancing competition in this field and offering users cyber security and safety through the latest available technology.